everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here in beautiful Riverside, California to show everybody our very first Gretsch B-Van reviews, which is the absolute best B-Van in the entire RV industry. This is the 2023 Gretsch Strata and Strata Ion. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Gretsch Strata and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you this luxury cruiser, the top of the line class B motorhome, the Gretsch Strata and Strata Ion. You guys have been bugging me and I couldn't get up to Michigan. Guys, I'm not doing it for you. So we called Gretsch and they flew us out here to beautiful California. And when I say us, I mean our class B expert, Hi. Becky, how's it going? It's going great. Where the heck are we? We are in Riverside, California. Amazing, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, Be Becky, this is amazing view and scenery. I'm super excited to show everybody this unit. Before we begin, let's do a little education. Who the heck is Gretsch RV? Okay, so, Guys, Gretsch is built out here in California. That's why me and Matt are out here visiting. But they are not new to building. They have been in the transportation industry for 40 years. Wow. They have been building one of the high-end buses, number one selling bus limo in the business, guys. And let me tell you, we are very, very lucky to now have partnered with them and be selling such a luxury and product that they are now bringing to the B-Van world. And Becky, when you're saying luxury, we really mean it. This is definitely one of the most expensive B-Vans on the market. Everybody who always asks me, hey, why don't they make RVs like this? This one's made like this. You do get what you pay for, but I do want to let everybody know, anybody who's looking at a Regency Exulta, an Airstream Interstate, a leisure travel van, this is that direct class B competitor that is not sacrificing any expense. Right. Tell us what we got going on up front. Okay, so this is the Gretsch Strata. This is built on the 24 foot Mercedes diesel chassis. Mm -hmm. This is a V6 with 188 horsepower. This thing does have some power. Now it is 24 feet and it has dual wheels in the back so it will give you a lot more stability while driving down the road. Yes. Okay, now in, up in the front, obviously you can see that this is built on the Mercedes chassis, right? Got yes. the big Mercedes emblem there. You do have a nice step here so you can reach your windshield to clean it off if needed. Now, this is different, Matt, than any other van we've reviewed before. Do you see anything different in the Right, I was here? about to say, it, it. I mean, obviously it's Mercedes, I. but like there's something different about it and I can't put my finger on it. So do you see all of these um, extra different moldings that they have added on? And it is exactly painted towards the, Mer you know, for the Mercedes color. Yes. But they've added that all down the side of the van. This is very sleek, it's very modern. It's beautiful. It's streamlined. It's very streamlined. It's very absolutely much. beautiful. This is going to give you everything, every single option on the Mercedes. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist. Uh, you got the cameras up there, the 360 cameras, everything. Yes. Okay. So down the side here. Now, there's one thing I'll point out. Now, Mercedes does have the blind spot monitoring built into the mirror. Which okay. Which is going to let you know if there's somebody on the side when you're trying to get into the other lane. Now, Mercedes does, or sorry, Gretsch does add a side camera. Really? Where's yes. that at? Oh, so, right there. Very oh, nice. That's the only van that we sell on the Mercedes platform that's adding that. I love that. Very, very nice. Okay. And then look at these tires, Becky. They're the Continentals. I love those. LT215 85 R16 with those shiny custom Gretsch RV rims. See that? And with that Gretsch logo in there? Yes. Now, talking about the logo, a lot of these van manufacturers do add a lot of different placements of their saying what it is down the van. Yes. This is only on a couple different locations. Now, you probably can't even really see it, but. Right. 
built into the stainless steel, it does say Gretsch right here. It's very incognito. And I try to, I always try to educate my, my buyers and let them know like our HOAs that don't want us to have even a van at our home. Right. I always tell them to decontent it, take all the stuff out. Yep. Well, now it already is for you. And I love how it says Gretsch and not Gretsch RV. Right. Not only that, I'm noticing these big windows. Yeah. And again, it's just a normal van. Right. It's a high normal end, van. high end normal van. Very much so luxury. Of course. When you open this door, Becky, what do we got going on that's special? All right. So I'm going to get in here. You see that you have a nice hand rest, you know, um, to get in right now they do make some custom mats which I like now you guys see I am sitting up very tall mm -hmm. I'm 510 for everybody who's watching at home I have plenty of space in here lots of you know lots of leg room it's very nice it's very plush I tell you as soon as I sat down the seats number one it's very they add ultra leather, leather into these seats. You have the really nice Gretsch logo right mm. into the headrest. There's tons of airbags in here. It's very much so safety. Um, and we have to get the cargo carrying capacity as well. Yes, memory seats, that. of course, with the Mercedes. Yes. And the one thing that I wanna mention, Becky, is that step. So yes. what all the other brands are doing, they're just using the traditional fiberglass, Correct. but they're actually reinforcing this with steel underneath, underneath. Yes. to make it more sturdy, but you have to, okay, so, and I'll, I'll get on this step. And this is a power step and I'll show you how you guys, all that works. But you'll, you'll see if I'm standing on here and even jumping up and down, Normally, this would be probably flexing, and you would you would see the movement, but there is really nothing that's moving, and we do have some footage for from underneath of what it looks like yes. and how it is all placed and the build process that Gretsch goes through, and the extra time that they add to those things that most people don't see or even pay attention to, but they are definitely paying attention to. I love it. All right, so as we go inside, you'll notice that this is a power door and look at that step that just automatically came out. It opens and closes when we have it turned on, absolutely. What, and I do wanna to mention too, if you want to leave the step out, say you're already at your campsite, you can turn that off and you can still open and close your door and just leave that out so it's not going in and out all the time. And while we're right here, I'm just gonna put point out this beautiful screen that's built right in easy to open easy to close on a nice sliding track yes integrated awning please show us what it looks like when it's all the way out i will do that and then while she's getting that awning out i do want to mention this is the four seater cockpit area you can get the rear lounge as well we'll tell you a little bit more about that on the inside so nice power awning it does have a wind sensor built in. Now I wouldn't say, okay, just leave it and wait for a big wind gust. No, you need to put it in before the wind gust takes it in. Yes. Now it was, you'll see it was painted and it matches the van. You barely even notice that it is up there. Again, to be sleek and incognito. And then just so you guys do know, if there is a big gust of the wind, it will retract itself back in. And you do have the LED lights there as well. But look how big it is. I mean, it's the whole basically length of your van. So you have just like that little wind gusts look took right in. Okay. So right here, you'll see that number one, you're going to open that up. You've got a couple different power receptacles under here and then also cable hookup as well. Okay. Now you guys see how nice it's all in one spot, yes. but then it also locks, which is, you know, makes it safer for you guys. Now back here, First of all, I'm not going to open the doors like we quickly normally do because I want you guys to notice this bumper down here. You know, it does have a 5,000 pound tow receiver hitch, yes. brake controller, but look, we never see this, Matt. Well, most people don't need that and I like how it's not exposed. I like it too. It's just two screws underneath, then you can remove that plastic piece. The little circles right above that is the sensors. Oh, the backup sensors, yep. It does have a backup camera up there as well. Now, in the back, you see these doors do open up all the way, which... Wow. You have all this space. Now, there's a pull-down screen, and then I'm going to... Well, I'll show you when we go, when we go inside, but there's a pull-down screen that is power. Um, back here, we have some different stuff that they're going to give you with the coach, but underneath of here is where they store your lithium battery system. Okay. Okay? 
It's a 1260 amp hour lithium battery system. Yep. And then they give you an, a 3000 watt inverter, 300 uh, watts of solar panel yes. also comes standard on the roof. Now this is like Matt said earlier, this is an ion unit. If you do just the regular strata, you get the lithium, or sorry, you get the LP generator that okay. comes with the coach instead of the lithium battery system. And then let's kick it over to AJ and he can explain all the differences between the strata and strata ion. There's only three. So when you go with the lithium ion battery package, you are getting the 280 amp auxiliary alternator with the wake speed regulator that is recharging these house batteries from idle with our 3000 watt inverter and the 1260 amp hours of batteries. Our Lithionics battery package here, these are the only Underwriters Laboratory UL listed, UL tested batteries available to the market. These each have built-in battery management systems that work together with our power management system for proper shedding. And these batteries here you can see are securely fastened to the floor. This is a stainless steel battery tray bolted through the chassis floor being held on the top as well. And you'll see the clean installation of our wiring and presentation here. So this is 1260 amp hours. We are 35% higher battery capacity than our nearest competitor. This will operate the entire house for up to 12 hours. Okay, now there is some also storage back here. So you do have space, minus all this stuff you can see, but there's also D-ring. Okay. So if you wanted to put an e-bike and it has on both sides, so you could strap it down. Sure. Pretty nice and convenient to have. And you see that you've got a couple little storage spots here. Yes. And then USBs on both sides, which wow. is nice. That actually doubles as when you're sleeping, you can put your phones there. Okay? Very nice. So around the side. Now, most of the time on these vans that we are reviewing, you will see a lot of different places where the water hookup is, the cable, uh, the power system. Now, if you notice on this, there is none of that right where is it becky so it's right here now we need the key wow and i like you can literally put it up at nighttime it has a light which that firefly system does have an app so you can download the app on your phone and then turn the light on while you're doing all of your docking stuff at nighttime. wow all right so we'll start here right here is your Potable water fill, potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. Your city water connection, your hot and cold for your exterior shower. Yes. You do have a macerator um, on this, and underneath of here is where your hose reel is at. Okay. So this is a hose reel pump. So you're, and, and it's got a literally, you're going to pull this out, and then when you're done with it, you're literally going to just retract it. Okay um your gray and your black and then your 30 amp power hookup also your cable hookup as well is there and then down here you do have your black tank flush and then obviously like i just showed you your sewer connection now this right here is going to be your exhaust for the timber line heating system mm -hmm. which is going to control your furnace and your hot water love it okay so down the side which i just man, i mean this is just isn't this it's nice <laughs> It's really nice. Okay, driver's side. In here, again, another hand to get in. All right, now, it's just, you sit up high. Yes. Matt, I feel good in here. Yes. I have plenty of space. Correct. All the safety features of the driving. I mean, this has a, also guys, this has an air ride suspension system that is standard. Wow. And I'm telling you, if you're driving in a 24 foot class B like this is, yes. and you're sitting in the back, it feels like you're driving in a bus. This feels like you're driving in a luxury car. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Becky, I'm super excited to hear everything that you got going on here. But first, we got to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. 
swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, Becky, this is an absolute beautiful park here. And coming on in here, I do want to let people know the Strata Strata Ion does not have different model numbers. And there's two different types of floor plans. This one's the lounge that has the two captain seats here. So what's that? Nine seatbelts total? Nine seatbelts. Okay. And then there's the tour. The tour is like the one that Andrew Steele has that I'll show you guys that in another episode. But the only difference is this. It's a bigger kitchen. It's a bigger refrigerator. And you have a pantry here to each their own because I actually like these seats with the window. Which one, which one do you like better? Well, I really like the quad seats because this is going to give you the flexibility of taking your friends. Pros and cons to both. I mean, you know what? And, and Gretsch makes a really, if you guys can't decide on the lounge or the tour, you think you can get a good deal if you buy one Gretsch, you get an even better deal if you buy two Gretsches. <laughs> Just saying. So right. Becky, what do we got going on up here? Okay. So Mercedes has so many safety features built into the chassis. Number one, you have a push button start. Oh, we have to shut the store. Oh, oh. just like that. So you can shut the back door. And as soon as the beeping goes off. Okay, so you can shut the back door from right here. And as you notice, when I did start the vehicle, it started beeping, why? Because my door's open and they're not gonna allow me to drive away with the main back door being wide open. Correct. Okay. Now, I do really like that everything on here is hands-free. You'll notice over here, you have a home setting page, okay? So this is gonna take you to the home screen that's on your dash that you can see. Yes. Then you have these little but. These are the both the same. They kind of remind me of like an old uh, Blackberry that okay. had that little mouse pad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can kind of finagle them back and forth. So this side controls here. This controls over here, all right? You're gonna have your lane assist, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, mm. easily set here. You can change the radio from right here. I like to have this one set so where I can, on one side, I can have my radio stations that I can just flip through back and forth. And then this one, I can monitor my fuel, my DAF. Love it. Um, set all of my settings. It does have automatic wipers, automatic high beams built into it. There's a lot of features from Mercedes that come right here. There is a wireless charging port in here. Wow. You'll see that you have USB-C uh, uh, hookups there and another, you know, little 12 volt charger. There are, I believe, eight or nine cup, eight cup holders which up in the Mercedes. And I really like this little, this little cubby. Yeah. Keep my phone here. It's love perfect. It. I you love have one, it. I have one. Good to go. Perfect. Then over here in the passenger seat, again, we got the memory seats. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. I got tons of leg space here. And again, it's like we sit up high, but we don't sit up as high. Like, I feel like I'm falling on top of a ProMaster. Right. This one is just super nice. Everything about the placement and everything. It's Mercedes. Right. And look at all your room you have. Yes. Okay. Now, both seats do swivel around to become part of the living area. They do. Do you want to show people on this one? Sure. This one's just always the easier one. Yeah, I'll do that. And you, you can cut the engine off too. Okay. So that way we can get the door open. So guys, when you are swiveling these seats around, all right, so number one, the po they're power seats. So up here, you'll see these, these buttons that you have to move up and, and down. Underneath of the seat, there is a little lever that will swivel around. You do have to pass this B pillar here. Okay. So as you're swiveling around, sometimes it's easier like I just did, open up the door. Now, if we were had the set and this was my van, you've got three different settings, one, two, three. So the first person who, you know, number one, whoever sits in the seat the most, setting number two would be for the second person, number three. For the third setting, when you're turned around, you just hit that button and it automatically does this. You don't have to, you know, manually hit it when you get in. I love that. Okay, so you'll also see you've got a, a, 
amount, and this is going to be for a table. Nice. So if you had all four of these seats turned around, and we can show you the table later, later. it has a nice storage spot too. Okay. And a very sturdy leg, and this is bolted to the frame of the van. Wow. Okay. Um, now, there's a TV right here. By the way, that means the four of you guys could have dinner or play cards or whatever. Could play cards. There sure. you go. Uh, this TV, which at first I went, why would they put a TV right here when, if I'm the driver, this would drive me crazy, right? Right. But. Oh. There's no sound on exterior. You, there's no sound that comes through here. Oh. It comes with wireless headphones. Wow. So you can throw your kids back here yep. and they're not going to annoy you with all the stuff that they're And you watching. can play SpongeBob. There you go. Talking about kids. You'll notice, Matt, these seatbelts mm -hmm. do have three-point harnesses. Okay. So that's very important for our customers with safety concerns with, you know, child seats. All right. These cabinets and the the hinges they use. Wow. You ever seen hinges like that in a the, cabinet? The detail on the inside. And the these doors yes. are so thick. What are they made out of? Birchwood. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Very nice. You can just tell. I mean, that's why Becky likes the quality of the wood. Um, you do have a nice light, uh, cabinet lighting. And then now in here, okay, there's a few things in here. Number one, this is going to be for your King Satellite system. This is your Timberline control. The Timberline system is going to run your hot water, but also your furnace. Now you have the option to be plugged into shore power and run it off electricity. Okay. Or you can run this off of your diesel fuel tank of the vehicle. Yes. As long as you have fuel in your vehicle, you can run your furnace in here until you run out of fuel. I love it. Quarter tank, though, it does automatically shut off. This is your Renogy system. So this is going to be for your solar controller. Mm. Your Sony um, DVD and Bluetooth player is right there. Love it. Okay. Now, coming to the back. Well, first of all, can I just sit here? Have I mean, a seat. My gosh, man. Okay, uh, look at my leg room. I love it. Now we sit in a lot of these and we do a lot of reviews on these vans and a yep. lot of the times these seats are boom right here and yep. there's two of them combined together. Now you have the luxury of having four really adults, but if you do have your kids with you, they're not gonna be fighting over space. Right, you got you know? cup holder there. Do you have a nice, ooh, two cup holder built yes. in. Uh, USBs. USBs and then look at even, the lighting detail yeah. and then another D-ring. So if you weren't traveling with four and you wanted to just th throw another bike here, you have another tie down there as well. Not only that, I really want to stress the importance of that window there. It's really nice and it makes such a small B-van not feel so small. Yeah, that's a really big window too. Show us this awesome kitchen. All the detail, the attention to detail. Oh, and here's where the table, this is the Lagoon table that actually goes back there. Awesome. We can show that later, but it's nice because it's stored here. Yes. A lot of times you come in these and they're just thrown somewhere. Mm -hmm. This has a built-in storage space. All right, so we'll start with the cabinets. Four wow. cabinets right wow. here. And I mean, you can even see, I have a hard time even almost like, and I'm not, I'm not weak guys. This is just, the hinges on here are so beefy which, and they positive latch. So if you are putting stuff in here, now you're not gonna have to be worried about them opening while you're driving down the road. They're just going to be secure there. Love it. Okay, now big stainless steel farmhouse sink. Huge look, sink. I have not seen that in a B van. <laughs> That's a winner, right? Right, and right. The Kelly kitchen, let's be real. It's not that big. Right. But look how that sink is huge. And the nice residential faucet. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Two burner induction, which we don't see a lot. We only typically see one. See the one. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Nice little place for my sponges. Now you have a convection microwave. Okay. This is also an air fryer. Whoa. What? Very nice. A little bit of storage there. Not bad. Oh, and a little, one little drawer here. I like that. I like this I mean, little drawer. See, yeah, you can see the drawers and everything. The quality. I the mean, dovetail. Yep, dovetail. Yep. That's, it's just quality, guys. All right, little fridge and a little freezer. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Oh, uh, Becky, Woo. you know, so many times people are like, oh, these cabinets cheap, this ca cabinet's crap. Why don't they make them like this? Well, Becky, Gretsch makes them like this. And because of that, it is a premium, more expensive unit. So do you know what that leads to? Do you know what time it is? 
It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Now, Becky, we're going to do this two ways. Jen, please show both MSRPs right here so everybody can see who's watching. We have the Strata MSRP and then the Strata Ion MSRP. Now, since it's current model year, we can't advertise a sale price, but we do offer a sale price. Um, well, Becky does, and it is going to be a better price than that. But again, it's a B van, so it doesn't have that typical Class A, Class C style of discount. But Becky, here's what I do know. If you want luxury and you want quality and you're looking at that Airstream and you want the absolute best of the best premium, I know we can put you in a, Stryon, a, a Strata Ion for a lot better price than what you see here. And so if you guys are interested, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Becky's Cash. I've linked that down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Now, if you call the number or go through Matt's RV Reviews, you're going to get one of my many teams. So if you want Becky, make sure you click that link. That's going to send a form directly to Becky. Becky's going to contact you. She'll be able to sell you one of these anywhere in the country. And actually, what we learned today, you can actually come to the factory in California. And do a pickup. Yes. And the best part about it, Becky, doesn't matter if you pick up in California or Florida, you know how many miles they're going to have on them? 200 and something. No. Yeah. Why 200? Because they do a test drive. They drive them from one plant to another, and they have specific drivers that are literally only driving it to listen for noises and rattles. 200 miles? 200 miles. Would you look at that, guys? I thought it was zero miles. <laughs> so doesn't it, they're going to have 200 miles, and the whole thing, what I was trying to say was, they get towed on a truck to the dealership. Yes. So if you're picking yes. it up in Florida or Michigan, it's not going to have 3,000 miles. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Becky. Okay. Show us the rear. Before I show you guys the rear, I do want to point out, Matt, this floor. Talk to me. All right. So unlike a lot of other manufacturers, we did get to see today, they are putting two layers of insulation wow. on their floor. Wow. But look at this material. Yes. Okay. It kind of reminds me the feeling of a high-end yacht okay it remind it's a boat feel right but it's really easy to clean it's very durable yes and look how pure it's just pretty right and that insulation i mean we're talking all oh. throughout the rv you know yeah. what i'm saying they do the the ceiling the 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 walls and the floor love it but to have that double layer of insulation is a lot yeah now this is obviously your couch area there are three seat belts here yep and two in these jump seats. Wow. So like we had mentioned before, nine seat belts total. I don't know another van on the market that has nine seat belts, guys. Yeah. I don't know one. Now, obviously like, a, you know, this is a couch model, right? In, in this, this position, you can add that lagoon table that we had up there. You can put it on the mount here and have it swivel around. Love that. Work, play cards, drink wine. Now, if you want to change this to, sleeping mode okay all right another flyer fly system here okay but a lot of our vans are going to be manual this is all power map just like that just like this now becky while this is going down tell us a little bit about what is the firefly system all right um so this firefly system all right it is going to literally manage everything on this coach it is the brains of the operation it's going to tell you how much fresh water gray black it's going to obviously use your power to to you know put the bed down um you can turn all of your lights on and off from this you can extend and retract your awning all of the lights you can turn on and off from here and they're dimmable so if you wanted to dim it you can dim it oh wow yeah i see that okay now you can also turn on your air conditioner from this and your fantastic fan is also run from this as well. Now, this is probably, Talk I was to gonna save this for last. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! Oh, before actually we move on, I do wanna tell everybody at home, these seat belts, guys, they go in there. You don't lay on the seat belts. Yes, everybody always asks about that and you do not lay on the seat belts. All right, let me just put this up so we give you a little bit more space back. Just like that. 
And this bed is huge, by the way, with it's in full mode. These ottomans are also power too. Okay, they power down as well yep, these to fill out down. to make the one bed. Yeah, this whole area here. Okay, are you ready? Talk to me. This, I don't even have to talk. Oh. Huh. How? Oh. How nice is that? Man? Wow, talk about privacy. Talk about luxury. Yes. Just now, like that. The cool part is when that back one goes down, okay, it's so big because it takes up that whole back door area. You can hook up like a movie projector and turn that into a movie screen. Oh, from the outside? Yeah, because wow. it's white, so you just put a projector and make that to like Love a big that. outdoor theater, right? Yes. TV, um, and it's 12 volt. It does pull out and it does swivel around. So there's a little lever, so you can pull this out. You can swivel it if you're, you know, in your kitchen making something to eat, you wanted to watch stuff. And it does come with this sound bar as well. A uh, couple more storage cabinets. Wow. Now, I do want to point out this back cabinet. Talk to me. It's huge. Huge. I really actually think you could even possibly fit golf clubs. Oh, in wow. Yeah, that is very big. Deceivingly big, right? Yes. Now, this is going to be the table, guys, that goes up in the front okay. that, we, that we talked about earlier. And then these are window covers. They're very thick covers that go in the front windshield. So you manually put these ones in, and then you'll see they have a reflective side on one side. So yes. it'll keep the heat out. Wow. So all every cover or every window that opens has a cover that you can make yourself a little bit of stealth mode. Yes, and the one thing I want to add, um, when AJ was talking about the battery system and how long this unit ran, yes. obviously if you're in Death Valley and it's 150 degrees and you have your AC on 65, it's not going to last that long. So it when what, what he said was they set it to 72 degrees, they had all the blinds down, they had the all the front windshields cover to keep this unit as cool as possible in a controlled temperature. That's how they lasted that 12 hours long. Everything 100 what? It was at 100 degrees they tested it. Oh, was it 100 degrees? Yep. Right, so yep. just saying like, but, but they had all the covers on it. And so if you're running your AC and you know, your induction and a hair dryer. Obviously, it's not gonna last that long. Everything is subject to how you're using it. <laughs> but still, it's very, very nice. Speaking of nice, Becky, we do have a nice bathroom for a B van, okay? This is a wet bath. It's all fiberglassed out, very nice. I'm liking what I'm seeing because it's very spacious. Right here, we do have a nice little sink and your faucet here what's nice about this this actually raises up here and then you're able to um use it as a shower uh, right over here we have a little mirror little mirror mirror on the wall and unfortunately we were playing we were doing the switcheroo at the lot and i left my liquefied that i brought all the way from florida to the dealership guys liquefied bing that is our black tank treatment it works for b vans as well any type of rv if you have a black tank you can use liquefied go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle of liquefied um and guys no joke is stuff's amazing oh you look cute porcelain hey on. i gotta take the plastic off wow you gotta get really serious about it huh Hey, I'll leave the plastic on. Matt, look though, when you're sitting down, look what you got. Yeah, oh, a window. A view. Look at the right. view we have right now, guys. Look at that mountain. <laughs> Becky, close the door real quick. Do you want to keep the camera? No, no, no. Okay, Becky. This is not a prime poop position. But what I will say is this is the biggest class B bathroom I've ever been in. My left side and my right side and my rear isn't touching anything. The only thing stopping it is my foot right here. It's Ooh. not a prime poop position, but I will say this is a fantastic bathroom, again, for a B van. Can I point out one more thing in that bathroom? I guess, go ahead. All right, there is a clothesline it goes from one side to the other okay so you can hold wet clothes or towels and the mirror 
I love the mirror on wow. the door. Another hook. So those are a couple things. And look at the thick door. You yes. know, it's not one of those um, rattly things or a curtain. Yeah. This is nice. Speaking of rattling, Becky, we're going to drive this back in just Yay. a few moments. Okay. But first, we have to give people three things we love about this motorhome mm -hmm. and three things we dislike about it. Becky, what do we do first? Don't like. First? Get it out of the way. Becky, what am I not supposed to like about a, a motorhome to this level? <laughs> Guys, this is going to be really tough. But Becky, do you think you can think of some dislikes? Because I have a couple if you have a couple. Okay. Yes. Go. Right. Okay. My number, I guess, uh, we'll say number one dislike. Yes. I don't really like the sound bar. It's big. Technology is pretty advanced nowadays. So I feel like we could do something a little bit smaller. So what do you mean? Well, just the sound. It's, you know, and it's a Bose sound bar. It, okay. It's not, it's a great quality brand, but it's just really big. It's Oh, it's bulky. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of bulky. You know I mean? Yeah, no, definitely. They could have like maybe put it in the roof or maybe like a sleeker one, but at the same time, maybe not even one at all. Like you are in a B van, like you're well, not, you're not in a movie theater. True. Okay, that's just like number one. Mm -hmm. Becky, that kind of combos with my dislike for number mm -hmm. two. Mine's going to be the huge faucet. Now, don't get me wrong. We're going to talk about likes in just a moment, um, which the sink's going to be one of my likes. But this is just really weird. And even though it's not taking up a lot of space, it's like taking up mental space for me. You know what I'm saying when I say that? Well, because of like, the I view. Like, I just see it everywhere. Well, the view from back here is just so gorgeous. Yeah. And then you have that right in your way. Yeah. I agree. Ooh. That's number two. And then number three, do you have a number three or no? I do. Oh, okay. Ooh. I was going to tell say something. Oh. Tell me number three. I'm going to go with fridge on the floor. Okay, so that's what I was going to say. Oh, okay. Talk to me. Well, number one, I'm tall. Yep. And, and you can actually just see right there. That was already kind of weird, right? Like, all right. <laughs> So, all right, now I have to get all the way down here to get something out or something. It's just, I don't know. Becky, fridge on the floor. I'm going to combo it. Here's okay. why. Because when you look at the other strata, the tour, you don't have the fridge on the floor. You do have that bigger one. And it's right. Nice. But here's something else. I don't like the TV right here, oh. personally. Hmm. Um, again, just sitting right here, I kind of noticed the bulge or whatever. Hmm. Uh, personal opinion. Um, but again, you don't get that on the tour either. You know what I'm saying? Right. Again, they're both identical units other than like those three little things. Well, it's cause this is the literally touring, I mean, traveling van with, you know, multiple people. You're going to want a TV and entertainment, Matt. It's entertainment. We can agree to disagree. That's yeah, three things. That's like three that. things. Hang on. That's three things we dislike about it. Now yeah. it's time for three things we love about it. May I actually go first? Sure. sir. Actually. I love all the windows. Ex exterior interior i love this window i love the bathroom window i don't think i've ever seen a class b with a bathroom window which is fan freaking tastic not only that it's just a streamlined van it's not gaudy on the outside or it is gaudy on the outside no it's beautiful on the outside it's not gaudy you know what i'm saying why am i saying gaudy like i'm a new yorker or something what i'm saying is it's streamlined it's luxury it doesn't look like an rv because it's not an rv it's a luxury traveler that's number one. Okay. Becky, like number two. Number two for me is this, the material and the um, amount of extra foam that they use in their seats. Really? Yeah. Well, they use this very nice ultra soft, you know, soft leather material. But okay. And they're adding in a lot more foam in. So it's just very cushiony and it, it's really nice to sit on. So that's I like that. That's number two. And then Becky. I think number three has to be the air ride suspension. That's a solid one. The sound in here. Guys, you're not hearing rattling. You have the nice cabinetry, the nice insulation, the air ride suspension. I mean, it's the absolute best riding motorhome on the planet today. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. I've had people in the past buy a van and they have that installed aftermarket. Yes. Because it just is that big of a difference. With that said, Becky, that's it. That's the review. Let's drive this back to the factory, okay. and we are going to bring you guys along with us. And again, if somebody's interested in this unit, click the link down below and go to Becky's cash. Ooh. With that said, swivel that seat back around. Oh, moving this. There you go. You can sw swivel it. 
perfect. Let's get our bags and we're oh, gonna yeah. hop in and drive back to the factory. Okay. All right, Becky, we are in the Strata. How does it feel? It feels amazing. I love this. I love driving it. It just is easy. It drives like a car. Even being 24 feet. Like right. I'm literally driving a vehicle. We were at 7-Eleven earlier. Just fit in a normal parking spot. And again, store. with this long one, with the longer wheelbase, having that air ride suspension is absolutely fantastic. The handling, I actually don't know why more people are not just getting this instead of their minivans, instead of their Yukons or something. It's, it's a big car that has a bathroom. It's fantastic. AJ, thank you so much for flying us out here to California. Our pleasure, welcome to California. Now we do wanna let everybody know that there's a few different options that you can get with any of the Gretsch motorhomes. First, the exterior colors. For the Strata, Strata Ion, you have three color choices. What are those? We do. We have Iridium Silver that you see here. We also have the very nice gray white that you'll see here. The gray white. And then another popular color here is the Tenerite gray. Okay. Very nice. So three color options. This is a lounge Strata, correct? So this, this is, is the other, tour for. the tour for, we just did the lounge. So this is the tour. So everybody can see the differences with the big cabinetry, the bigger refrigerator right there in the bigger kitchen. AJ, is there any other differences between the tour and the lounge? Well, the lounge floor plan with the extra captain's chairs is also gonna give you that additional front TV. Ah, okay. And then we can show you, this is the dark wood interior. We have the light wood interior down here as well. Perfect. We'll go all the way down, then we'll check out the light wood. Do you have a uh, most popular color package? I would say it's uh, probably the, the iridium silver with the dark wood interior. There you go. Perfect. Let's take a look at that light wood. This is a, a beautiful facility. Oh, wow, Becky, do you like that or the dark better? Ooh, you know, it's hard choice. I'm not going to lie. This is just really pretty. It's just really light in here, guys. It just feels very open, very modern. I do like the dark, too, though. It's a hard choice. Hard choice, guys. I don't know. Great. Well, Becky, AJ, thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, that's it. That's the review, guys. Do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Gretsch Strata Ion and three things you don't like about it. This guy, AJ, right here, he does watch the videos and he does read the comments, so your feedback is much appreciated. And if you guys are interested in getting one of these, you can go to generalrv.com slash matscast unless you want to work with Becky directly. Click the link down below that takes you to Becky's Cash. That is a Matt's Cash form. You will get the Matt's Cash discount, but it's a form that goes to her and she will call you. Becky, what do you want to say to America? Thank you guys so much. And thanks to Gretch and AJ for really, really stepping up and taking care of us. Yes. It's been an amazing experience so far. This facility is beautiful. It's state of the art. It's unlike anything I've seen. And I've been to a lot of plant tours. So. Thanks again to everybody. This is great. I hope you guys like these Gretsch fans as much as I do. Absolutely. And again, if anybody has any questions, they can always reach out to Becky. Just click that link down below. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Becky, we'll see you next time.